separation is continuous ethrification process. Monohydric alcohol, when heated with strong dehydrating agent like 90% H2SO4 at about 413 Kelvin, it undergoes intermolecular dehydration to form simple ether. In short, two molecules of alcohol heat together in presence of concentrated H2SO4 at 413 Kelvin. It gives ROR, that is ether, plus H2O. The mechanism for this reaction. In this reaction, alcohol first reacts with concentrated H2SO4 and forms ROSO3H, that is alkyl hydrogen sulfate. This then reacts with another molecule of alcohol at 413 Kelvin and gives ether. In this process, H2SO4 regenerates. This liberated H2SO4 then continues the reaction. Therefore, this method is known as continuous etherification process. The main drawback of this continuous etherification process is that by this method only simple ethers are obtained. The general reaction is ROH, that is alcohol, plus HOSO3H, that is concentrated H2SO4. It first forms alkyl hydrogen sulfate. In second step, alkyl hydrogen sulfate reacts with another molecule of alcohol forming H2SO4 and simple ether. The liberated H2SO4 then continues the process and hence it is known as Continuous etherification process. Next method of preparation of ether is by using diazomethane. The molecular formula for diazomethane is CH2N2. An alcohol, when heated with diazomethane in presence of fluoroboric acid, that is HBF4, which acts as catalyst, it gives Methyl ether. Now, methyl ether is that ether in which one group is always methyl. The general reaction is as follows ROH, that is monohydric alcohol, plus CH2N2, that is diazomethane, heat in presence of HBF4, that is fluoroboric acid, it gives ROCH3, that is methyl ether, and plus nitrogen gas is liberated. The main advantage of this method is that the byproduct nitrogen is in the gaseous state and therefore ether obtained by this method is in pure form. The drawback for this method is only methyl ether can be obtained by this method. Next, the chemical properties of ethers. First, action of cold HI, that is hydroiodic acid. While doing the reaction of ether with cold HI, following four points to be considered. Number one, simple ether, when heated with cold HI, it gives corresponding alcohol and alkyl iodide. Number two, in case of mixed ethers, iodide of lower alkyl group is formed. Number three, in case of mixed ethers, which have one branched alkyl group, then iodide of branched alkyl group is always formed with cold HI.
and number 4 if both the groups attached to oxygen are branched then iodide of more branched alkyl group is formed with cold HI next chemical property of ether is reaction with hot HI ether when heated with hot HI at about 4 to 3 Kelvin it gives iodide of both the alkyl groups the general reaction is as follows ROR that is ether plus 2 HI heat 4 to 3 Kelvin it forms iodide of both the alkyl groups and water Next chemical property of ether is acid hydrolysis. Hydrolysis. When ether is subjected to hydrolysis by heating with dilute sulfuric acid under pressure, it gives alcohol or alcohols depending upon whether the ether is symmetrical or unsymmetrical respectively. For example, dimethyl ether which is symmetrical ether when subjected to hydrolysis by heating with dilute H2SO4 under pressure, it forms methyl alcohol that is CH3OCH3 plus H2O in presence of dilute H2SO4 under pressure, it forms 2CH3OH that is methyl alcohol.